What's up you guys? Good morning. Welcome back to Lola's Farm. We got a beautiful day out today. It's windy, but it is warm and dry. And the sun is shining bright. That's that's what we want, right? That sun shining bright down on us. That's how we like it. Just to let you guys know, this video today is sponsored by Athletic Greens, but we'll tell you guys a little bit more about them later on. Today marks exactly one year since we went into lockdown, which is basically one year since we've been building this workshop. March 12th of 2020. You remember it? The day that the lockdown hit? Yeah. Yeah, man, I remember like thinking it was the end of the world. And right now we just found out we're going to total quarantine. So our whole day tomorrow is gonna be spent trying to get answers. At that time, we had just moved up onto this land and we had nothing, we had none of this. The only thing we had was that school bus right there <laughs> that we'd lived in for the last three years. You wanna come for a ride? You wanna hop in? We're just going to the bottom of the hill. And it's just wild to think about that time and what was happening and just the amount of challenges that we had. And now it's like we've made so many upgrades and have done so many things to make the quality of our life so much better. You wanna grab that piece there? Yeah. And this whole project, building out Lola's farm, doing this workshop, the greenhouse, living up here, everything, is by far the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm sure it's the same thing for you. And lockdown just made everything harder. Not having, being able to have access to materials, uh, only having four hours a week when we could leave this land. And now to be at the point where we're putting the finishing touches on everything. The last final steps of this workshop and of our new home it just feels so much more rewarding. So we're basically just doing a sweep from the front all the way to the back and seeing all of the little things that we need to finish. So today we're gonna to be focusing on the drainage system that's right beyond this retaining wall. So I'm just laying some four inch drainage pipe. This is all just some scrap PVC that we kind of said hanging around. Just so water doesn't build up here and do any damage to our retaining wall. And just to divert all the water around the sides. So now this next step's gonna take a while. I need to go ahead and drill a bunch of holes into the top and the side of the PVC to allow the water to enter and then obviously be diverted around. And while I do that, Kaylee's actually gonna do something that we've been looking forward to doing for a while. And this is something a lot of you guys have been waiting for and dying for us to finally do. So she's gonna be painting our door. We asked you guys a while ago maybe like two months ago, what color we should paint this door. And we said, whatever color you picked, we'd paint it. And all you guys decided on red. And while we really didn't want to paint it red, we're gonna paint it red. Honey, that's a nice shade of red. I think so. I think it's a really, really, uh you know, it just, it, it, it just like, apple. It reminds me of like... Apples? Apples. Apple red? Apple red. All right. Thanks for the tip, you guys. We just turned this piece of PVC into a big piece of Swiss cheese. Looks like it anyway. Cocky's going and getting all the plastic out of all the holes. Now I am just need to wrap this thing with a little bit of this fabric here. So no dirt gets inside and blocks up the holes. But we found out that our mattress that we ordered last week is ready to pick up. And we have to pick it up within one hour. So we're gonna try to rush to get this all done so we can go and actually sleep on a real mattress, honey. You have no idea. We've been sleeping on an air mattress. This is what we've been sleeping on. And every night, it deflates. Now we're all ready. We have 30 minutes left. We just need to move. I don't know, there's thousand pounds of gravel now down into the ditch. Come 
push it up, push up, push up. Okay. Metal again, sweetie. Hold on, you're gonna hit me now. Okay. Go! Oh my god! No. We did it! We did it! We did it! Look how excited she is. You haven't been up here yet. You haven't even been up here yet. <laughs> you know we had to bring you up to try out the new bed, right? <laughs> you know you had to try out the new bed. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this bed? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> She's so happy. That was the best night's sleep I ever had in the workshop. <sighs> How about you, Sui? And we had the bow. Yeah, we decided we were gonna let Lola sleep in the bed for her first night in the bed. <laughs> you know she's not gonna be doing this all the time, honey. I know. I know you're gonna want her in here, but I know she is taking up a lot of space. Good girl. <laughs> so we just got this Berkey a couple weeks ago, and it's pretty amazing because all the water in here is rainwater, and the Berkey is good enough to be able to filter. All the other crap that you don't want from the rainwater. And I got some nice, fresh, drinkable water. So as a lot of you guys know, Athletic Greens has been sponsoring our videos for almost a year now. And I was super, super excited because out of curiosity the other day, I compared all of the, the supplement facts to a prenatal that I first started taking when I found out I was pregnant and it is almost identical if not more stuff in athletic greens than the actual prenatal so although i am supplementing with a little bit more folate um, because that's something that's super important during pregnancy this athletic greens has been my main source of prenatals basically for my whole pregnancy so far and the thing that i love about them the most is that i'm actually drinking whole foods it's basically just ground up veggies and fruits and all sorts of good stuff. Look at you, Lola. You get your special food, huh? A lot of you guys have been wondering what we give Lola for her home-cooked food. It's usually something like ground beef, chicken, carrots, uh, squash, broccoli, rice, and then whatever other veggies look good. We used to put spinach in here, but she doesn't like it. She'd like pick it out and like leave it there. And every once in a while, she's really lucky. Lucky she gets some nice, freshly caught salmon right in there. All right, honey, I have a bunch of gravel to move. Okay. You want to go do the chickies? Of course, I'll do the chickies. I need a little bit of mummy love. They've they been stuck. Need some love. We're getting our new electric fence today. Oh, really? Yes. Good morning, my little baby. Good morning, sweeties. Hello. Do we got some eggs in there today? Let's see. Oh, yes we do. We got four eggs today. You say hi to the people? You say hello? Yeah. Good morning, my babies. Good morning, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. <laughs> Morning! <laughs> I just brought a bunch of gravel down, but now I need a little break. So we're moving on. One step from here is now the window trim. And when you do trim like this, one thing that we've learned is it just looks so much better so quickly. So the other piece is an do it again so Iberto and his brother we actually just hired his brother as well he needed some work his name's Enrique and uh, we've been having them work on a beautiful staircase that's gonna go up this hill it's been a little bit sketchy walking up and down this hillside especially when it's wet out 
we've had a few instances where people have just fallen right I've on their I've fallen the most. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shoot, I didn't do this side. It's alright, I'll paint it once it's up. It looks really bad. We're trying to reuse a lot of the materials that we have stored underneath our workshop. So all this trim that we're using is actually all leftover Shosevi bond wood from the siding over there. If you look closely, maybe you can tell. I know it looks like it's painted black, but it's burnt. And it's been working really, really well for us, the Shosugi Bond. We haven't had any rot, we haven't had any termite problems. So we're gonna keep using that for accent stuff as much as possible. Okay, hear me the nail gun. Well, look what just came in in the mail. Our new electric fence charger for our chicken fence. We had this one and I messed around with it for a while and I came to the conclusion that this one is defective, I think. And we'll know really quick once I plug this wire in to see if we get shocked or not. Go ahead, bro, touch it. A lot. I have rubber boots on, so it's probably not gonna do it. Oh! Feel it. <laughs> Katie's going for dose number two of athletic greens. I usually just go for my first one in the evening. I almost forgot the most important part, honey. What? Oh, I know. We've not had a freezer for about four years, so now just putting ice cubes in water just makes it so much better. Ice cubes, baby. Every day I start dragging around two or three and I'm making athletic greens just to help kind of push me through. If I have a coffee around this time, it makes me kind of anxious and jittery. I think feisty is the best word. Kaylee's been drinking green juices for as long as I can remember. And the one thing about this one that makes it different is it actually tastes really, really good. It does. Just drinking athletic greens is kind of like that flavor that you're looking for. It's kind of like sweet and I don't know, how, else, how would you describe the it's taste? It's invigorating. Honey, it needs to be a real flavor, not just like a feeling. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a sweet fruit juice, but it doesn't taste like it's loaded up with sugar. So this is what I'm gonna be sipping on while I push to this day and finish up the door trim. That's gonna look so good, love. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good, honey. You like it, Yeah, that. awesome. Wanna go back and take a look? Yeah. I'm looks... so happy you painted that door red. I know, huh? <laughs> it looks great. really, really good. And then we just have the top two windows to do. And then just, that's it with the front, honey. High five. Come on, bro, we built this thing. We oh, built this thing. sick. Do you know, bro? Do you know what? What? That's a douch. The red door, right? Yeah. So beautiful. I know. It's so red. Such a nice shade of red. Yeah. All right, sweetie. And so we finish off our night. Just a little bit of vitamin D3 and K2 dropper just for some immunity support. If you guys wanna try out Athletic Greens, they have a deal going on right now that you get this vitamin D3 and K2 dropper for free with your first purchase. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can click our link down in the description below. But we are going to bed. I'm still covered in paint. <laughs> so I might That's just kind of the deal around here, you know? Going to bed covered in paint? Yeah. And it's not even cold out anymore. I know. It's so nice. We're just, we're just too tired to shower. <laughs> we're passing out. See we love you guys. We'll see you next time.